All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Arvind Gupta, Managing Director and Founder of IndieBio. Uh, first of all, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. The team appreciates it. We have 11 incredible companies to share with you today, all changing the world in some significant manner. Uh, I want to say thank you all for investing in these companies and investing in our future. Uh, in the last five years, it's hard to believe it's been five years, that IndieBio has existed, the companies have raised $450 million, and our portfolio has just crossed the $2 billion mark. Thank you. Uh, and so it's been due to an incredible team that continues to push the boundaries, and I'd like to pass the mic over to Maya Lockwood, who's our communications director, to share a little bit more. So we're excited that SOSV, our parent fund, has raised $277 million recently. That brings us to $700 million in assets under management. Over $100 million of that is expected to be invested into life sciences and deep tech. Our portfolio companies are in the news. Recently, Jungla was acquired by Invite to advance genetic variance interpretation. We'd also like to congratulate Memphis Meats for raising $161 million to build a future without slaughter of animals. What you see today here is just the beginning. Our founders are emerging voices in biotech. If you're a journalist or a storyteller in the audience, please introduce yourself. Check us out online, at Instagram or at Twitter, and come by and visit us. I would like to now introduce June Axup, our scientific director and partner, who will tell us more about Class 9. So today we are here to celebrate Class 9 and all of their hard work over the last four months. But it takes a village to raise fledgling startups, so we especially want to thank all the mentors, the corporate partners, the VCs, and the alumni who have dedicated countless hours in mentoring these companies. This batch, we doubled down on leadership, doing conscious leadership seminars and team building exercises because we recognize that leadership comes from within. And of course, we thank the greater community who has come to our events to support the companies and also to discuss the most pressing topics in climate change and life-saving cures to diseases. And thank you for all of you to join our community here today. Next, I want to introduce Parikshit Sharma, our principal, to talk about a really exciting announcement. Hi, everyone. So today, I'm really proud to announce the launch of our second location in New York City in quarter two of this year, with the highest concentration of life science talent and significant NIH funding, the New York ecosystem is ready to take off for commercialization of biotech through early stage venture. And we are ready to, we are ready to go in there and gal galvanize this forming ecosystem and transform New York into a life science hub on the East Coast, just as we've been doing here in San Francisco. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our partners, the State of New York and Partnership Fund for New York City for their support, which will also allow us to launch our pilot therapeutics program, increasing our deal offering up to $2 million per therapeutic company. And above all, today I'd like to invite you guys. I'd like to invite you to engage, to invest in, and to cheer on the coming classes of New York startups with the same excitement, same encouragement that you've always shown us here in San Francisco. Thank you. And with that, I'll hand it over to Alex to share a bit about our global outreach beyond San Francisco and New York. So one of the things we spend a lot of time doing is actually going out um, and talking to scientists about starting companies, because um, it's not the traditional path for many. Um, besides a lot of industry events, um, last year we did a lot of roadshows to universities, actually meeting with scientists on the ground, 
going to their labs and talking to PIs. And we're really excited. Um, 2020 already has quite a few on the schedule. Um, so we'll be going to all the universities you see on the screen. And actually, for anyone here who's engaged um, with a different university who wants us to come, please let us know. And part of that is we are looking for applications. With New York, um, one of the big you know, things we're very excited about is we're actually going to be doubling the throughput of companies that come through IndieBio every year. So right now, we're doing up to 30 companies. And next year, we're going to be doing actually up to 60, including New York. So with that, we're really opening up a lot more ideas and a lot more verticals. And a few areas I want to call out um, that we're excited about and want to see more um, entrepreneurship in uh, across planetary and human health are, first off, waste to value. So especially in uh, reducing emissions and uh, beginning to do drawdown, looking at greenhouse gas turning, turned into value, and also taking um, raw materials and, and waste products uh, before they become emissions and making products out of that. Uh, we're looking a lot into regenerative agriculture as a huge impact on both our climate as well as human health and nutrition. So for that, we're thinking everything from the soil to um, sprays onto plants, genetic modifications, and also um, transient regulators of gene expression. And lastly, uh, a big area for us upcoming is uh, oceans and water. So that could be um, desalination or bioremediation, as well as looking at um, really massive global problems like um, ocean acidity, um, polar ice caps, and uh, ecosystem restoration. And in human health, uh, fertility has been a really big area for us. Um, we've been making a lot of connections, talking to a lot of teams. So thinking both of healthy conception as well as contraception. Um, RNA um, as new ways of detecting and monitoring disease, as well as um, new therapeutic modalities. And lastly, a big area for us is expanding frontiers of neuroscience, um, and especially focused on mental health, which is a huge crisis and a big underserved disease area that we really want to be helping more entrepreneurs in. So lastly, I'm going to hand it over to Poe Bronson, our strategy director, with one more big announcement. So small announcements to make. Arvin, come on over here. Uh, so Arvin and I wrote a book. Thank you. Uh, it's not about Indie Bio, but it is, again, uh, where we were strategizing how to take the core mission of Indie Bio and spread it farther and wider. Uh, experimentation as a way of life, the, the, the courage to challenge the status quo. And we wanted to get this message to people who aren't just investors and aren't scientists yet. And so much like you, we would reprogram a mature cell into a stem cell. We went back to the real origin and spirit of Indie Bio, to the fun, the joy of just questioning, questioning why things are the way they are. Can we do things differently? I'm a questioner. Arvin's a questioner. I think you're all questioners. That's partly why you're here. You feel that call. And so in this book, we ask a few interesting questions, and we run experiments to learn. Arvin and I trade off in the chapters, sending each other out on challenges. And in that way, the book becomes kind of a conversation between us. Our editor, Sean Desmond, published Sagan. He published Feynman, as well as iconic books like Fight Club and Train Spotting. So the praise and the, and the support of the book that he's giving us really means something. I'm excited to say that just this morning, uh, we confirmed that Decoding the World will be followed by two more books to become a trilogy. Now, the startups you're about to see here today, the founders, their journey to this moment began as questioners, as asking, can we do it differently? Well, let's find out. Welcome to IndieBio 9 Demo Day.